Hello viewer, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to prepare this beautiful color plate map in ArcGIS. We know color plate map is a thematic map that is used to represent the statistical data using the color mapping of symbology technique. So it's a basically as a symbology technique. This is my study area and we have sub study area that's been sub block. See this one is a Puria block map and here my data, right? So using this data, we can easily prepare this map. So let me show how to prepare it easily. So this is my another data. This is block name and this is my data, right? So before doing this, you can do another important thing. Just go to open attribute table and just go to this table option here. You can find this table option. And from here you can select all. After selecting this, you can just copy and paste in Excel. So copy selected and go to any Excel sheet uh, like this, right? So just delete all of this. We, we need only this name option or only this FID option. So just delete all. I need FID and name. Let me check. It is okay or not? No, this is not okay. See, this Asha. So just select it and go to this filter button and A to Z Asha. Okay, so if I 11, Bagmund D6, Balarampur. Basically, we have to match it. This is same or not. Yeah, now it is same. Jalda 1, 2, yes, now it is same, right? So, just see, this is FID. Just we have to copy this FID and paste over there and write FID. And we need only this FID or just delete all. And save it now. Go to File, Save As. Now save it in CSV format. This CSV comma delimited and I will save it map 2001. Right. Yes. Let's close this one. Now this is clear button. Just clear it. Close this. Select it. Join and delete. See. Just right click over there, right click over there, okay, then you can find one option, join and delete, this one, just join it, okay. So I want to join from here according to FID, there is one FID option, so I want to join from FID and here the option, the browse button, so here my map 2021 csv format right this one i just save it in csv format and see now this should be same choose the field this layer okay so this layer and my table layer this should be same fid and fid or maybe defined maybe uh, a block name okay but it should be same name and just click over there now see, open activity table, one column has been generated if I score, okay, just close it. Now very simple, go to properties and we have to go symbology because thematic mapping actually depend on color mapping technique. So here the symbology and this is categorical color, this is unique value and this is quantitative option this one so if we select here quantitative like FIS code because we have quantitative and you can select like there's a level one two three four five level so I can say uh, we can prepare also according to your needs so I want to prepare in three class right there's a three class so check it this classified technique natural break 
so this one 0.37 this one 0.47 this one 0.73 okay but according to my previous see my previous map this one uh, go to properties and go to symbology or check this properties so here the layout general and size and position we can select this so just check it here uh, this one low according to this map this low mean here 0.37 right so if you select here the low fr is low there is a 5 plus just select it 3 classify in manual plus according to previous one 0.37 and this one 0.49 right and we can say this one low then this one medium medium and this one high right high just apply and okay see this beautiful map already prepared so this one so we can change many things here from here we can change it see this outline color we can change it to outline color this dark color also uh, like this way we can customize color it is auto generated color we can easily customize color from here uh, from color ram this one color ram we can choose according to our needs so for me it is okay because it's low this is medium and this is high so apply and okay see now this beautiful map is ready another important thing here see if we click there this pool and stick there one option level features right this one level features so we can do one thing from here we can select or deselect this level features already i have selected uh, one level features this one so if we select this level features like uh here then it will be selected see this is selected but we can do from here go to properties and then to level the on option levels and we can customize from here uh, we want to show block name okay if, if we want to show another thing then you can show we want to show block name then here the font size and font level i want to show in 14 okay and is yes it is showing uh, sometimes you can do another thing it is 14 sometimes extra the map so we can choose 12 also we can change the color also okay now you can easily add this map element like scale like uh, this uh, north line okay just we have to go insert and here the legend option north arrow if you select north arrow and you can choose it and just insert it okay just place over there okay already i have placed so let me go to the details and here another scale you can find it, the scale option here and another legend just click over there next 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 okay this is legend so again i will customize this one go to properties and general this is Fourier blocks okay then item this is the most important part item you can select this style just select it and select here style you can choose from various style so i'll go with this third one on the Fourier blocks low medium and high so and here the sim size of font so 14 i think be okay now see now it is okay and previously i used this term status of human development so uh, we can change it over there right just select it and go to properties then we can find one general tab here just write down here the status of human development right and apply and okay so my beautiful map is ready now go to file option 
and export this map. Before exporting, you can see the screen preview. See, this okay? This okay? Yeah, for me it is okay. Right? So, let's close this. Just go to file option and we have to export it. Export map. So, I'll export this map here. You can export in any folder I want to export in my data file here. Human development 2001. Remember one thing here the resolution always select resolution 600, it is recommended. So save it. It's done. Now go to this folder here the data human development. This one, right? See. Now here one option edit image. We can easily edit this image from here. Without losing our resolution, we can do it in Windows 10. So that's why no need to do in ArcGIS. We can do it in ArcGIS also. Okay. Just save a copy, just select it. Yes, I want to save it here in my T folder. Then here, yes, save it. Yes, I want to replace it. Now, see our beautiful map is ready. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully, it will help in your research.